Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Basebut. Today I would like to talk about and show you about the Rosum Penharmonium. This is one of a kind model, which is um, really fascinating me because when you feed any kind of sun, it could be anything, it's unpredictable. And I like it because your rex about unpredictability, isn't it? And yeah, so today I would like to talk about in how I use the Rosum Penharmonium. I'm not going to talk about the all features, CVs, inputs, and also other features, which is really deep and it needs a lot of dedication to this module. But because there are also um, other um, also YouTubers also talk about this and you can find it in depth about that in the Rosum's website about the manual book. But I would like to talk about in how I use that in my composition and how I use um, at the moment only three knobs and also the other knobs which is really um, useful for your composition and okay let's dive in And when you already hear it, let's set this one into dry first, and you can hear the uh, instrument of my string instrument. If you watch my Morphogen demo, that's the sound of my string instrument. It's called Sape, and here's the dry dry sound with the delay and reverb. Let's cut the delay and reverb first. Maybe add more reverb at the moment. Let's set everything, this one, and also others into um, to the left, fully to the left, and use this oscillators 33 and also the analyzer to the fully to the left. So I would like to talk about these three knobs: the splice, multiplier, and also voices. So let's hear it when you can. Let's dry it off the horn harmonium. So what you're hearing now, the sound of my sape, the string is being resynthesized by the pan harmonium with its internal 33 oscillators. Let's make it lower, maybe to 15 or Here it already harmonics is quite um, decreasing. Let's make it to 33 at this demo. And the first thing you have to do is just experimenting with the splice and multiplier. You can see already the multipliers beeping quite fast. Let's make it more around 12. And make it slower, the multiplier here. You can hear already the original sound of the strings being chopped and also being slowed down by the multiplier knobs. Let's add more reverb here. Make it more stereo because the internal Although it, you can he, you can see already here, this is the stereo and also stereo outputs, but the internal processing is mono. So when you cut off the reverb, you can hear already that the sound is being in the center, not in left and right. So let's make it more wide with the reverb. Let's make it more even slower with the splice. Let's make it 15 again with the oscillator. Less harmonics. Okay, let's hear the dry sample again. This is the original sound. And here's the pan harmonium being resynthesized by pan harmonium. Again. 
So with this three knobs, you've already made an ambient palette of the sound, which is swelling and also gradually increasing and also back and forth with the um, part of the samples because you make it slow it down with the multiplier here. So let's make it more, maybe to one or two later. Okay, so that's the three knobs, which is the first thing you have to do when you play in the sample and you feed everything into these three inputs here. So make sure that you're experimenting with these three knobs. And after that, I would like to talk about the blur and also glide and feedback. The next three knobs here, which is make it more even swelling and also more, you know, sustained and also back and forth with the samples. Let's hear it. Oh, glide first. Yeah, you can hear it more quite sliding and gliding between the samples. But for my settings, I prefer into around nine o'clock here, so not quite, not quite gliding. And use this blur. Around ten, and feedback around maybe eleven or twelve, according to your taste. But this is only my preference. If it's too high, you can get quite feedback loop between the samples. So make sure that maybe around 10 or maybe in the blur around nine o'clock. Let's change to the reverb with the Strymon Magneto. And you have already the instant ambient sound here with the wide range of the frequency from low to highs. And it brings me to the next knobs here, the center frequency and the bandwidth. So with this knob, you can choose and select and shape the frequency you would like to focus on. Let's focus to the mid and low section here and it cuts the highs and the mid highs when you turn it to the around 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock to the mid-high section here. And it cuts the mid-low frequencies here. Around 12K. It is so accurate. brings the mids and highs again and when you aim to the 12 o'clock here you get all the frequencies 
in your palettes, in your uh, sample sound and being written synthesized with the pattern harmonium. And the next one is bandwidth. So this is focused to the mid. mids to the right here it only brings you to the highs and lows as well and as usual if you focus to the 12 o'clock you get all the frequencies so for this setting for my composition I would like to this is my preference, so 12 o'clock and 12 o'clock, so you get all the frequencies and uh, it's really a wide range of the frequencies here. Let's maybe lower the oscillators. Yeah, but I prefer to maybe make it more, you know, so 33 oscillators. So that's the blur, feedback, glide, center frequency, and bandwidth. So at this video, I'd like just would like to focus to the three, the three, and two knobs here. So this is really um, enough also to um, cut and also to you know compose your, um, your samples. Last but not least is maybe like a, make it more reverb here, add more reverb from the strum and magneto, the spring. And you get the ambient sound. Okay, let's go back without the panharmonium. Without the delay and reverb. So this is the original sample with the panharmonium and delay and reverb. So good. So that's how I use my Rosum panharmonium part one. So in the next video, I would like to talk about the other feature, like for example, CVs and also I don't know presets, and which is really important for um, the composition. And that's it for the part one. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't, just please check a look, take a look with other videos in my channel. See you and thank you.